CBS4 is honoring veteran voices over the next several weeks. The Noblesville veteran has a plan to help make life easier for others after they leave the military. CBS4's Angela Brower sat down with Dave Clawson to find out the difficult journey that led him to a path to help others. You're looking at a man who served our country. I decided to actually join the Illinois Army National Guard. A man who went overseas to Iraq. Junior year of college, 2004, I was called up to be deployed as part of Operation Iraqi Freedom. And gave it his all. Dave Clawson was in Iraq less than a week when his unit took a direct hit from an IED. All of a sudden, heard this just loud explosion, and everything went black. He lost fellow soldiers. It's always tough to process that. And saw others severely injured. Welcome to Iraq. Lawson had prepared himself physically, mentally, and emotionally for combat. When he was discharged, that's when he realized he was not ready for civilian life after work. When I started school that fall, I was older than all the other students, all the other juniors in college. I didn't feel like I fit in, which which was a challenge for me. He experienced traumatic stress disorder, suffered through an undiagnosed traumatic brain injury, and started drinking heavily. People knew him as Party Dave. And I, I didn't like that. I struggled with it. I didn't want to be Party Dave. I wanted to be Dave Clausen. Clausen started journaling and eventually realized he was on a new mission. He needed to apply what he learned in the military to his everyday life. So he made and published this organizer called the Student Veteran Planner. You've got to have a clear picture of where you want to go so then you can build a path on how you're going to get there. It lays out your life month by month, your goals and how you're going to execute them day by day. Something that most veterans are used to is how we would plan a mission and prepare to go out on patrol. And this military style approach is catching on for others who have faced similar challenges. I was really worried about like being alone and kind of dying alone. And I thought I needed something like alcohol to kind of make myself feel better. Veterans like Stan Blount. Transitioning out of the military, I don't have a schedule at all. So it's, it was hard to get organized. It just stressed me out a lot. In everyday battle, he used that student veteran planner for years, helping him take control. I don't let alcohol control my life anymore. I control it. So now you're looking at two men who are on a much more positive path than before. I'm just doing my thing, being true to me. And a veteran who is still serving his country just in a different way. Angela Brower, CBS 4 News. Now, as Angela mentioned, Dave Clausen was just recognized in the National Veteran of Foreign War Still Serving campaign. It honors veterans who serve their community after active duty. We thank him for his service. You can find this story and others online at CBS4ND.com. Just click on the Veterans Voices tab at the top of our homepage.